I'm at the bridge port and I'm going to drill four holes in a row and then ream them three eighths so that I can use three eighths dowel pins. That's this size here. And I'm going to put the uh, holes uh, five eighths of an inch apart. That way, uh, when I uh, take five eighths and uh, two radiuses of the three eighths, you know, it'll equal one inch for uh, an easy inspection size. So I've got a bigger uh, center drill in there when I did last time. I think that's going to uh, make it, uh, that might have been the entire problem because that, that's not going to bend, it's not going to deflect. So I'm going to uh, center drill four holes. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Table is locked. Digital readout is on zero. Where's my oil? And I'm going to center drill them good and deep. Unlock the table, go 625 thousandths. Lock it again. Center drill the next one. And I'll do two more yet. All three are center drilled. Now I'm going to drill 2364 which is one size under 3 eighths. I'm using a stubby bit. I like those stubby bits. They don't deflect. And I zeroed out the DRO. By the way, I did take the uh, parallel out of there so I don't drill into the parallel. Alright, I drilled one hole and I will drill the other three off-camera, advancing it uh, five-eighths each time. Now this reamer is actually one thousandth under three-eighths, .374, and I chose that reamer. I was glad that I had one because I believe that uh, when I press the dowel pins in, there'll be absolutely no slop or wiggle, just in case they end up being slightly oversized. So, I've got plenty of oil on there now, and I'll ream the first hole. I zeroed out the DRO. Now I'll advance the 625 thousandths, and I'll go right on down the line and finish reaming them, and I'll meet you over at the bench. Now some people might say, why don't you do one hole uh, from start to finish and uh, the reason I don't do that is because there's just too many tool changes so I, I think this way is easier I hope it hasn't introduced any error. Here's the finished work I've uh, deburred and cleaned it and I've driven in the 3 8 dowels I only had three short ones and I had a long one that's why there's different sizes in there and I'm reasonably happy with the results here's the, the reading on the uh, I barely have room in there for the jaws. So that one is within a half a thousandth. That one's within a half a thousandth the other way. And we're within a half thousandth there. So we're really good compared to last time. Little discrepancy there, and well. Depends on how hard I uh, push on the calipers too. Now I'm going to knock those out of there and uh, just leave two in there and then I'll check it with a reg conventional micrometer. Okay, I'm down to two dowel pins in there. And using this Sterrett mic, I'm kind of looking over the camera here so it's awkward. And there I'm about a half thousandth over. Let's use the regular old mic here now that I had since I was 16. 
Remember the dowel pins are uh, two ten thousandths of an inch over too, so that they will press in. They were pretty much right on. Let's see, slipping off on me. Oh. Within a half thousandth there. So I'm real satisfied with the results of this uh, uh, last experiment here. Uh, if you got any comments, give them to me. Uh, no questions, please. I don't have time. I hope this comes in under 15 minutes so it can all be in one uh, video. This is Tubal Kane saying thanks for watching and uh, so long for now.